Just Alina Lee is back with a look at our week ahead. And Alina, the Chiefs are winning yeah. and people are wearing those puffy jackets out there. It must be kind of cold. It's a little chilly for sure. Temperatures are in the upper 40s now and there is a little brisk wind out of the north around 5 and 15 miles per hour. We've had gusts nearly up near 30 at times earlier in the afternoon, but those temperatures will continue to fall through the rest of tonight. In fact, dropping below freezing as we head through midnight. Right now, though, there's not much to look at here on our satellite and radar picture. Cold front pushing off to the south and east and away from us and clearing skies as well just to, behind it you can see we are mainly clear between kansas and missouri and even up to omaha and so nebraska iowa a mostly clear sky there by tomorrow morning i think it's going to be partly cloudy to even mostly clear in a few spots there may be a little mixture of sun and clouds though to wake up to especially if those clouds that are making their way into eastern nebraska western iowa right now kind of spread across the area through the overnight hours so that's still possible a little bit more cloud cover returns but temperatures they should still manage to get into the middle 20s when you wake up tomorrow morning. The afternoon, we recover a little bit. In fact, we are expecting highs in the upper 40s, despite, you know, partly to mostly sunny sky. However, that's below normal for this time of year. Now, skipping ahead to Wednesday, I know it's a big travel day for many folks. If you're trying to get out of town, well, here's an outlook for the country altogether. So let's start off on the West Coast. It's going to be mainly dry there. No major significant issues if you are going to be traveling out in that area because of mainly a sunny sky across parts of California and the desert southwest. But the Four Corners region, especially up towards the Rockies, that's where we may see a little bit of an impact, especially in Denver, where snow showers will be possible, even up all the way to Montana and the Dakotas, a chance for snow. It's going to be mild here in the middle of the country. However, the storm system that is expected to move through the Rockies could provide us with a chance for rain late Wednesday night. I think we're going to be mainly dry though for the first half of the day Wednesday, which should allow us to get to 60 degrees, which is well above normal for this time of year. Off towards the East Coast, also dry conditions here Wednesday afternoon and evening. Uh, however, Thursday looks to be pretty seasonable in many locations. Once that front passes through our area, temperatures will be a lot colder though. So here's an overview of normal temperatures versus the highs that are forecast for November 25th on our Thanksgiving Day for this year. Again, pretty much near normal off to the west. 60s in San Francisco, 73 in Los Angeles. It's going to be 76 in Phoenix, which is just slightly above their normal. Here in Kansas City, we're going to be seeing highs near 40, a little bit colder than normal for this time of year. But even off to the east, temperatures very close to where they should be. So no big cold blasts of air expected our way uh, anytime soon. I think the coldest will be will be Monday morning and perhaps even by Friday morning. So we've got two chances of seeing below normal temperatures. But to break down your Thanksgiving forecast hourly for you here locally, if you're going to stay in town, temperatures start out near freezing, working their way up to 40 degrees by the afternoon around 3, 4 o'clock. All right, Security Bank seven day forecast two times will hit 60 degrees Tuesday and perhaps Wednesday before that next system arrives. And it looks like the models are starting to trend in more of an agreement, which means I think we could see a chance for rain in our area, but that chance is better the farther east you live of I-35 and even farther south of I-70. Greg?